Hi, this is Dr. Don, and I want to spend a few minutes showing you how to use the Excel histogram chart to create a pretty good histogram. Now, this is a lot quicker and easier than manually going through the steps of creating a histogram, so it can be pretty useful. This is a large data set. I have about 10,000 employees, and I want to look at the distribution of their salary. So a histogram is perfect for that. I'm going to click in that column and then control shift down arrow to get to the bottom of that data range and then enter to select it and move me back here to the top. And then I just need to insert recommended charts and then all charts, go down and find histogram. And there we have two options. We have the histogram and we also have the Preto. We'll talk about that in another video. Select that histogram and click OK. Now I've got my basic histogram started here, but it's pretty busy, and so I want to clean it up a little bit. And to do that, I'm going to left-click down here to select the x-axis labels, and then right-click Format Axis and I get a dialog box over here on the left side. So first thing I want to do is set the bin width. I'm going to click that radio button, and I like even numbers, so I'm going to start with a pretty fat bin because we've got a lot of salaries here. I'm going to put in 10,000, one zero, one, two, three, enter. So that simplifies my chart quite a bit, but I still want to clean up these labels here, and I'm going to start by clicking on the underflow bin, and that will put all of the very low values into one bin, and it suggests 14,070. I'm going to round that to 15,000, one, two, three. So that's my underflow bin, and now I want to overflow. I've got something going over here on the high side. It suggests 160,000. I'm going to round again to start here for my first cut analysis at 200,000. One, two, three. So now it's starting to look better, but I still can make this a little bit cleaner by getting rid of those decimals here. I'm going to go down and go to zero for decimal places. And so that's starting to look pretty good. Now you can clean this up quite a bit and add chart titles. I'm going to go ahead and right click there and add the data label. So I've got the counts in each one of these bins, which is informative. And again, I would add the chart title and axis titles. I hope this helps.